All right, so I'm just going to go over a lot of limiting beliefs that you might have that I've had in the past. And you can kind of just, uh, I time stamped everything so you can just kind of skip around, see which belief you have in your mind or like thought you, you have in your mind that you just kind of want to hear what I would have to say about it and, you know, see like if it could actually help you. I hope it will. So yeah, just skip around this video if you don't really care about this one thing, but you care about this, like, you know, try it, figure it out, see if you like it. And yeah, so I'm just going to go straight into the first limiting belief that might ruin you, honestly, is thinking that it takes up too much time. Thinking that doing this, oh, if I started this one business, oh, if I tried doing this, oh, if I tried making videos, you might think that it might take a lot of time. But you know how much time it took me to film this video? Basically, however long this video is, however long this video is, minus plus like two minutes, because like, you know, I stutter a billion times. But besides that, it doesn't take a lot of time. I'm filming this video right now on a school day at 7.53 p.m. You have time in your life. You have times where you're like, oh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. Oh, I, like, I'm bored, but I just don't want to read a book. Like, I just don't want to learn. I, I, like, you know what you can do. You know you have blocks of time where you're not really doing anything. In the morning while you're waiting for school, after school, after this, after this. You know, there's so much time where you actually have stuff to do. And if you really don't have time, like school's in the way, you have sports, you have this, 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 there's just no time to do anything. My best advice to this when I was going through the same situation would just be to wake up earlier. Right now, I wake up at 5 or 5.30, and at that time, I just have an hour, an hour and 30 minutes to just work and do whatever I want. And also, use your time wisely with the weekends, because I know you have so much time on the weekends, bro. Like... There's probably some moments where you can actually do some things, all right? So you don't, you have too much time that you're wasting pretty much. So yeah, actually do something with the time you have because I know you have it, bro. Like you can just do it for one hour instead of playing one hour of video games doing this. You actually have one hour to actually do something. It's worth it. And you're watching this video right now. So I literally know you have time. You're watching this video. You have time, bro. The next belief I want to talk about is thinking that you're not good enough. Now, I had this belief in my mind for so long honestly and like kind of as a, as a point like maybe yet yeah, it's true you're probably not good enough but how many hours have you put into doing it like of course we're gonna say Ronaldo is a good soccer player and is way better than Messi he is like of course we're gonna say that because he put in so many hours he practiced all the time and then that's how we actually became good enough. So if you want to get good at something, then start practicing right now. The best time to do it was yesterday. The second best time is today. So make that time today. Start practicing. Like, that's the reason why you do it. Like, you don't go to the gym or something and be like, oh, no, I'm not good enough. So I'm not going to do the workout. No, you work out so you can practice and actually get ripped. And another thing I want to add, if you're not that good enough and you're not that experienced in the things you do, you're more relatable and you're more authentic to the people that you're trying to do. Like this video is probably more relatable than some like alpha male person like telling you like all these limiting beliefs are bad. Like, yeah, he's probably like has more experience than me, but I'm I have a type of relatability that he doesn't. He can't relate to the people that he's trying to help and trying to give value to as much as I can, I think. And I know I'm not the best. I know I'm not perfect. And that's completely fine. It's completely fine to suck at something. Because there's so much room for improvement if you just practice. Like, I cutted, like, 20 things out of this video probably right now. While you're watching this, in this 4, four minutes and 30 seconds, I probably cut out so much stuff already because I stuttered, like, I, I, I think, really, and then I think I started, I... I cut out so many moments and like, I'm not perfect. It's completely fine to suck. You get better, you practice. And then when you practice, you feel better. And then boom, you, you're better. The next belief I want to talk about is thinking like, oh, what if this one person finds out? Oh, what is this one person going to say if I do this? Now, I also had this belief so many times. Like, I feel like all of these beliefs that I've had, all the beliefs in this video, I've personally experienced. So I feel like... I can help you with this at least somewhat. And when I thought like, oh, what if I make this video and like someone finds out? Like, 
even if someone does find out, which is kind of low opportunity, like low chance to happen, because there's billions of videos, even if someone does find out, like, so what? Really, just so what? Like, you're being your real self anyways. You're showing, like, who you really are. And if they don't like you for who you really are and, like, they hate you for it and stuff, then they're not even, like, a good person to be with, right? They're not even someone you should, like, take an opinion out of, right? Like, I'll be honest. Like, some people in my school found out my YouTube channel, found out this, probably listening to this video right now, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, like it's not as scary as you think it is like the worst thing they will do is just bring it up in the middle of class and then be like oh yeah 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 that's me like that's it like all the people that found out my channel just respect it and like you like it they don't mind so just know if you're worried about like what if this person finds out oh this guy's gonna not like it you're being your real self anyways you're doing what you truly love doing and if someone doesn't like you for who you really want to be then like, it's not good to listen to them, right? So don't let some random person that you don't care about control how you live your life. Control the success in your life. The next belief I want to talk about is that you're too old to do something. And this probably might not be for you specifically, but it might be for someone else watching this video. But, like, just know that if you feel like you're too old to do something, just know you have so much experience, so much knowledge, so many stories, so many lessons you can give out to so many people and can actually benefit from it. So you have so much more experience. I'm just going to move on to the next thing, which is you're too young. You think you're too young, so you can't really do anything. And I also had this belief. I thought like, oh, I'm only 15. I can't really do anything like, but I actually could. I actually started making videos. I actually started practicing. I used the fact that I'm 15. And while everyone else is starting when they're 18, when they're 20, when they're 30, People are like starting YouTube and stuff when they're in their 20s, in their 30s. And I'm starting at when I'm 15 years old. Imagine where I'm going to be when I'm 20. Imagine where I'm going to be when I'm 30. When I started 20 years ago from where some people started. Imagine all the much more practice I have basically when you start early. So think of starting early and being young as an advantage. Yeah, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like, sometimes it's beneficial. Sometimes it harms you because, like, you don't have much, much experience in it. But you're more relatable. You're more likable. Imagine thinking, like, you can't really start now. Like, imagine I thought when I was 15, like, oh, no, I can't start a YouTube channel. I can't do anything. And then I started five years later when everyone else started. Imagine you just started doing something five years later. Like, imagine you probably you probably done, like, some like self-improvement little habit thing like I don't know like journaling or like going outside meditating something like imagine you did that five years later like you just for some reason just didn't want to meditate you didn't want to journal five years later in your life imagine how behind you would feel imagine how much like regret and all the moments where you could have actually improved your life you didn't so just do the same with this one bro seriously you're not too young this is like honestly a great time to start because so many people don't want to do it. And the fact when people realize you're like, oh my gosh, you're 16. Oh my gosh, you're 15. They actually be in shock. My English isn't really working right now, but yeah, seriously, try this, bro. Ah. Next limiting belief I want to talk about is thinking you don't need to do it. Thinking it's like below you or like you're better than this. Like you don't need to do it. I had this with so many things, honestly. Like, one of the things that really stuck out to me was having a habit tracker. Like, it, if you don't know what it is, it basically like so you write down some habits you want to do and you just check it if you did it this day and then this day you didn't. Okay, you leave it blank. And I used to think that was below me. I used to think like, oh, I don't need a habit tracker. I'm disciplined all the time and stuff. Like, oh, I don't need to go on a walk for 10 minutes. Like, oh, I'm better than that. Like, oh, I don't need to like go up to some stranger and talk to them. Like, oh, I'm better than that. Like, I don't need social skills like that. And then as a result, I would never do that. I would never level up things like that in my life. And then I would just be worse. And it's honestly so worth it. Like if you want to have more meaning and success in your life, then really consider doing it. Like imagine if I just considered talking to so many more people. Imagine if I went on a walk more often. Like I feel like I'd just be so much happier with my life. And I'd develop so many skills but my little ego just thought like oh no i don't need to do that 
and then I probably lost out on a lot of potential that I had in my life. The next limiting belief I want to talk about is thinking there's too much competition. I feel like there's only competition in stuff if you're just copying someone. Like, doesn't that make sense? There's probably competition in, like, a race because they're all copying each other. They're all, they're all trying to run, right? So if you just don't copy what other people do and actually stand out, which is a great way to, you know, stand out from the crowd and actually be different from everyone else and, like, get more attention to you and get the success that you want in life. Stand out. Be yourself. Don't copy what other people do. Yeah, maybe, like, take some skills, take some things that you learned from, like, high achievers that already stood out. Maybe, like, do that, but actually just be yourself because when you're being yourself, you're not copying anyone. And as a result, there's no competition. And even if there is competition with being yourself, you're going to be the best at it because the best person at being yourself is yourself. And even if there is competition in whatever you're doing, bro, I promise you, I promise you, bro, right now, I promise you, if you show up, you're in the top 10%, bro, I swear. So many people just can't show up. So many people fake the success and stuff that they have, and they just don't show up every single day. So try showing up every day, stay consistent, and yeah, there will be a lot less competition than you really think. Like, because when you get into the space of whatever you're doing, you, you realize there's not that much competition. Nobody wants to take it as serious, seriously as you. Nobody really cares. Nobody shows up often. And everybody's just trying to copy each other. And as a result, like, nobody gets anywhere. They just like, oh, why am I stuck at 100 subs? Why am I stuck at 10 subs? I can't go anywhere. Like, they're just copying other people, bro. Seriously. So stand out, show up often, stay consistent, work hard, actually try. And then there will be like no competition. The next thing I want to talk about is thinking that you don't know where to start. Now, I also used to think like this. I used to think like, oh, I don't know how to start my YouTube channel. I don't know if I should do this. Should I do this? Should I do this? This or maybe this thing. Oh, maybe I should not even do YouTube. I should do this instead. It's just all overthinking, honestly. You're just overthinking on things that don't really need to be overthought about. Just start it and then learn from trial and error. Like, if when I started anything, I didn't have, like, a perfect plan. I just started it and then, okay, I did this thing. Then you just learn from trial and error and then just, like, naturally improve. You naturally improve because you just did something and then you're like, okay, maybe if I, all right. It's like, it's like a little bullseye. But you just throw randomly, like you throw blindfolded. And then you're like, you throw there and it's like, okay, that made a noise. And then you do it again. And like, okay, that just what hit the wood. I heard it. And then boom, everybody's like laughing and stuff. It probably like didn't do anything. Everybody's applauding me. It, it's a bullseye. All right, I'm going to do that over and over. It, it's kind of a weird an analogy I just came up with. But start just throwing darts. Just start doing stuff. Do something then just do nothing. It's better to do something than do nothing. So throw that dart. It might even get a bullseye the first time. It might be completely off the wall. You might hit yourself. You might make your toe bleed from hitting the dart. Like I literally had that happen once. I, I, was, throw I was throwing darts and <laughs> I, I don't know how I hit my toe, but I did. And yeah, the next belief I want to go over is thinking it's too risky to do something. Now, I just want to say, like, isn't living a normal life risky? It's risky because, like, you work every single day. You don't really have that much free time to do what you really want. You feel sucked. You feel drained when you leave your 9 to 5 or whatever you do. And then your boss controls what you do. You don't have really any control in your life. Isn't that a risky life? You can get fired anytime. You don't make that much money. You don't have much freedom. Isn't that a risky life? And even if, like, that isn't a risky life and you actually, like, are fine with that, all right? So you just do that 9 to 5 and then you do that thing that you might think is a risk. So you do that risk and then what happens? This is if you fail that risk. There might even be a chance where, like, if you're really dedicated and I know you could probably have a lot of potential to succeed. If you actually take advantage of that risk and actually succeed, boom, you're just here already. But if you fail, if you, the worst case scenario, you know, you fail, this happens, you suck or whatever... Boom, like not only did you learn from that and gain so much experience, but you're just back at working the nine to five anyway, so it literally doesn't matter. You were here, you'd want to go here, and then you just end up here. You don't go here, you don't go here, you just boom, work, do the same things you were already doing. And then later on in life, you could get another chance. So just try to take more risks. 
because those are the moments that are just gonna define you so much more. If I didn't take a risk in filming my first video, we wouldn't have been here right now. You would have been sat watching some other random video probably, I don't know, and I just would have been on my phone, on my, playing video games. I just, I literally would have been doing that. I probably would have relapsed two hours ago, bro. Like, it's 8, 11 p.m. I probably would have relapsed three hours ago. I used to always relapse at five, seriously. On, on the toilet and stuff, bro. But now because I actually took a risk in my life, it actually paid off. And if I, I failed that risk, if like the YouTube channel thing, I, I realized I hated it, then I just would have been living the same life. So there's literally no, it's more risky to live that life where I'm relapsing, playing video games all the time because I have no control. I have no control in my life because I'm being sucked in by all these bad habits. And I know you can change. So it's probably not risky. And it's more risky living the life that you're living right now. The next limiting belief I want to talk about is thinking you're lazy. Now, like, fair enough, you probably are lazy. You might be lazy in this. But just find work that you like doing that just feels like play. That's, I, I read this book one time by, it was Naval, I forgot his name, like, Ravik Kant, something like that. And it was like, he said to find work that just feels like play. And if you don't know who Naval is, he's like some crazy rich investor and stuff. Like he makes a lot of money. He just says, find work that feels like play. Find work that you genuinely enjoy doing. And I feel like that's the same thing. If you want to be lazy, like you don't have to work all the time. You could just work two hours, do something you enjoy doing. And then like, it's just going to build up. Do something instead of do nothing. So even if you are lazy, it's completely fine. Just do something, at least do something. Because lazy people probably do stuff in a shorter amount of time and like actually do the most important things they need to do and not focus on all the little things that don't really matter. And the next limiting belief I want to talk about is thinking it's scary. Isn't it scary to... <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> the reason why you can't do it is probably the reason why you should. And if whenever I do something that I feel like scary, the first time I do it, like it's scary and stuff, but then five minutes later it's like not scary and I'm just like... Like it feels normal. And then I'm always able to do it again. Like it's just scary one time. And sorry about that. My thing ran out of time. My recording thing, I ran out of storage. So I had to delete something to fil film some more for you. But yeah, like when you do something, it's only scary one time. And then all the other times, it's not scary. It's not scary. You already did that one thing. So just whatever you do, just know it's only going to be scary the first time you do it. And then every, every other time, it's just going to feel natural. It's going to feel better. I know it really might feel scary and like you, you just ugh, like you're just so sc scared about it. But like, really, bro, like I, you probably heard like another thing I said in this video, but like, is it really the life you want to live in? Just be scared all the time and not really do anything else. Like you probably know it like, yeah, I should probably do that thing anyway. So yeah, I, pro I should probably like you probably know you should do it. Try, try it just one time, see how it goes. You probably like it. You probably just don't want to go through the one second of uncomfortable. Like, bro, for me, honestly, I'll be honest here for a second. Like, I'm terrified. I used to be so terrified of just going on calls because I was so scared of the first five seconds. Like, I didn't know what to say in the beginning. Like, I was like, oh, what's up? How are you doing? And then I just wouldn't know how to transition it to the things I wanted to talk about. But then when I just got over that one hurdle, the first time it just became so much more easier. And then now I'm able to go on more calls with people. The last belief that I'm going to leave you on is thinking that like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should do it. Like, uh, like there's probably a part of you that thinks like, oh, I should do it. But like another part is like, oh, I don't know. Try it once. Then you'll know. Then you'll know all the answers, all the things. Because you can have a million questions, but if you don't do anything, none of those would get answered. Maybe you should just try doing it first and then you'll get all the answers. I know a part of you wants to do it. Like, I know a part of you is thinking like, yeah, yeah this Timothy guy is kind of right. Like, probably, right? So, actually do it. Try it out, bro. It's. I feel like it's just so much easier than we really think it is. It's so much easier. Just We just try to overcomplicate it so many times and, you know, think of a million excuses to not do it, bro. Just try it once. Seriously, you probably like it. And I know you can do it because you watch this video all the way to the end. Whether you skipped here or not, you, you, you can actually watch a video like this. 
You don't have to be constantly dopamine and entertained and stuff. You can actually watch a video like this. So I know you have potential. I know you actually have potential and you're better than all of them because they, they just scroll and stuff. And they don't care. They don't care about anything. And I know you actually can. Like, it's not a, oh, I don't know if you can do it. I actually know if you can do it. I know you can. You really can, bro. Like, seriously, bro. So, yeah. Bro, dude. Do this, bro. You got this, bro. You're amazing. I love you. You're great. Yeah. So, if you want to help me get over my fear of talking to people in a call and stuff, join my Discord community. We can chat. We can call. And, yeah, we can both... Just go over each other's fears and help each other more. I'll try to, if I missed any limiting beliefs, uh, post it in the Discord and I'll try to go over it. I probably experienced it with two. I probably missed out on one. So yeah, please do this. Join my Discord community. It's free. First link in the description. I'll see you later, bro. Take care. You're doing great. Peace. Ah.